Tonight, we bring you Microfuse Computer Technologies, the young innovators that are behind a Microfuse stick computer. This is a magic stick that can turn all TVs, desk monitors, and projectors into computers. Of course, this not only saves parents from paying hefty prices for computers, but it gives them the opportunity for their children or schools to experience computers at the comfort of their homes by transforming their usual or ordinary TV screens into a computer. So let's dive deep into what the team here at Microfuse does. Microfuse Computer Technologies is a startup in Uganda that started out as a research firm in embedded systems that is hardware, software, and eventually evolved into a consumer electronics, general product design, and manufacturing firm. Microfuse Computer Technologies, uh, a Ugandan company that does consumer electronics design and manufacturing. So we actually bring uh, ideas into life uh, we do hardware design and uh, manufacturing. Most of the companies locally do software, but uh, we are one of those companies that do hardware. We use a business to business model. Mm. Uh, that is the business model we use. Uh, and most times clients come to us with ideas and they need a device uh, out of this idea. Actually, we do turn ideas into products. So uh, some of the services we offer, mm. uh, industrial design, uh, that is we pull something out of idea phase into sketches. Uh, apart from industrial design, we do offer mechanical design. Wow. Yeah, even if it's a machine, a device, a car, an aeroplane, we have that capacity to, wow. yeah, to do mechanical design. Uh, then also we offer electronics design, mm. uh, where we do uh, things like circuit boards, uh, that is uh, PCBs, PCB design. So uh, the, at the heart of these devices, there, there lies something called, uh, most people call it a motherboard or yes. a board, but yes. not, not everything is, mm. a, is mm. a motherboard. So mm. we do rapid prototyping, we are now, we convert the designs from computer-aided design into prototypes. Uh, then we also do software and firmware development mm. for, for the different devices mm. uh, that we come up with. Mm. Yes, and uh, one of the products we have on the market is uh, uh, the Microfuse stick computer. Microfuse Computer Technologies has been able to design and develop a device with a fully functional internet protocol television streamer solution for Ugandans. The Fuel Stick is a device that turns any TV screen, desktop monitors, and projectors into a computer, and this can be used normally, just like any other computer we buy on the market for work, entertainment, or storage basically a whole word on you everywhere you go with our product uh, the microfuse stick computer we are looking so much at uh, making a change in the education sector mm. uh, that is creating equality and uh, offering more quality education to especially the less privileged uh, and the underserved areas mm. our device actually consumes way less power that is uh, when you look at the regular desktop, our device, when it's set up with the screen, it will consume around uh, 50 watts of power in total, as compared to uh, a normal setup, which is consuming about 250 watts. So at the end of the term, okay, for schools, mm. but at the end of the day, uh, it is greener. Uh, the school will be paying less in terms of bills. Uh, and the device, actually, we built custom software uh, that is running on our devices, uh, whereby uh, students will be accessing those services. So we, we built for them uh, a 360 product. Through ICT, mm. we have been training uh, young engineers, that is students, uh, especially from Macquarie University, we had some from Chambogo, 
We had some from UICT uh, that we have trained in uh, product design and, and manufacturing. So uh, engineers actually get to practice uh, what, what they are learning. So uh, one would wonder, someone is going to study computer engineering in Uganda. Mm. In which company are they using computer engineering? Are they doing uh, uh, just dusting of computers or <laughs> computer maintenance only? Or are they uh, sitting down like engineers at Apple and coming up with uh, like the A1 CPUs? Are they uh, that, that really critical or in-depth cutting edge engineering? So uh, we are lucky that some of our former trainees are working for Kira Motors, uh, they're working for, uh, they're working on Google projects. So uh, actually we, we look at training more and more. Mm. And uh, recently we are co collaborating with uh, the Ministry of Science and Technology. And we're going to do an incubation center where we onboard engineers, train them. Uh, even those that have been in the field, we're going to actually retool them and reskill them such that uh, we can have so many of these uh, uh, electronic products designed and manufactured in Uganda. The vision for Microfuse is to extend technology to communities and households and increase access to internet and information in Uganda and Africa at large by up to 80% by 2030. Uh, the Microfuse computer stick is a product that cut, uh, cuts across. Uh, you can have it in your home because uh, apart from doing the normal uh, e-learning and schooling, uh, you can actually do enjoy some entertainment from it. Wow. We have had some customers uh, buy it to install computer games uh, for their kids, so using the same TV. Then uh, also some small businesses have been able to acquire this device and onto the device uh, we're actually also custom building more applications for, for managing wow. businesses, so uh, business uh, man management solutions. Mm. Microfuse Technologies is driving technology to communities at affordable costs by designing devices like the Fuse Stick computer that are tailored to meet the needs of Ugandans and Africans at large. Uh, the first and most important thing we look at as we design and come up with this technology is the, the most important question is what platform are you going to run on? Mm. Are you going to run uh, open source, that is Linux? Uh, do some end users need to run Windows? Uh, that is the mainstream. So once we look at that, uh, the hardware engineers at Microfuse now dig deep into uh, selecting uh, a CPU that is either Intel or Broadcom or any other uh, processor technology. So once we know that, uh, we sit down. Uh, after all the industrial design is done, now the computer engineers and electronics engineers sit down. Uh, we start designing what is called the I.O. Uh, that is the input-output mm -hmm. uh, interface mm -hmm. where we, 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 we go into detail. Uh, the end user may need like four USB ports how do we put USB ports? Which Intel processor has that support? We ensure at least the hardware engineers uh, look at uh, the underlying technology. Uh, we put things together. Uh, we do the schematics. We do the design of the motherboard. Uh, we do reviews of the design. Then uh, we actually make a few samples of that design then we test the technology internally. Uh, actually, after doing the design, uh, for the time being, for the, the, the recent past, we, we have been shipping the, the manufacturing files that are derived from the design to China. So we have companies offering uh, contract manufacturing to us. Just the normal Apple way. 
uh, Apple engineers will sit in mm. California, mm. Design, design, then yes. send over uh, to Foxconn mm. yeah, for, for manufacturing. For manufacturing. Yes. Yeah. So we have been using that model. And uh, when these samples come back, we actually put them together and test. Is the design performing uh, according to what, you desired. Yeah, what we desired, what the requirements? If it passes, mm. we look at now making bigger and bigger batches as we improve mm. the design more mm. and more. From consumer electronics to design and manufacturing, I for a person, I believe that Microfuse is the next powerhouse for any hardware engineer in this country, but also for Africa at large. Don't go anywhere. We're going for a short break, but when we return, we are going to look at how the Microfuse stick can actually turn all TVs, I mean all TVs, and desktop monitors plus projectors into a computer at a very affordable price. We are still at Microfuse Technologies and we want to look at the demo of how their flagship product called the Microfuse Stick Computer. This particular product here, it is used by anyone, anywhere, anytime, but it can turn any screen into a computer. Isn't that magical? Actually, for you who is watching, this was designed and produced by our own people in Uganda. I'm in the department of graphics. Now, these guys are responsible to designing these prototypes you see here from inception, that is from paper, until the actual hardware file is created. And that is what is sent out to make such prototypes. And joining me is... My name is Elisha Seruma. I'm the head of graphics and design at Microfuse Computer Technologies. I want to take you through this process of designing and producing the files up to the manufacturing of the cases. Okay. So basically, what we do, we get a picture. It's usually a hand-drawn picture of what we would like the product to look like. Mm -hmm. Us in the graphics team, we turn that into a digital picture. Okay. Yes. That will give us the ability to transform it from 2D to 3D, which will allow us to mold it. Oh, yes. So when we mold it, we'll get something like this. Something that has all the aspects of what we want to do. Mm -hmm. It has all the points. Something you can edit, rotate around, play with. You can add all the... F Before you send it for manufacturing, you can add features, everything. The layout. So it all starts from here, whereby we get a PCB. The PCB is a printed circuit board where all the components are fitted from the USBs, the fan, and everything else, even the memory. So after getting the PCB, we design for it a body, depending on the ports it has from the HDMI and all these power buttons. So you consider all that, and then you design for it the body. So it all starts from here. Then from here, we, ex we export what we call an STL file. An STL file is what uh, 3D printers read. And therefore, sometimes for the first prototypes, we used to print these bodies. You send to a 3D printer, and then it comes out like this. You do a little finishing, and then you get your casing. And after getting the, uh, the body, sometimes you have to verify, of which you can get a normal ruler or any other kind of measurements. You verify whether what you actually designed is what was printed before putting the actual PCB into the casing. So you verify, because sometimes there are errors during the design, and therefore you have to address those errors. Sometimes for uh, some prototypes, you find that you have to like, for example, file one of the ports. Um, for example, the, H the HDMI port here, uh, the actual one may not be fitting into the hole like this. That's one of the challenges we got for this uh, latest version. We had designed a smaller HDMI port, I mean a hole on the casing. The HDMI hole was smaller, so we had to file part of it, try to enlarge it. So now that will be addressed in the next version. So that is what verification helps. It helps you to make sure that uh, when you're putting the casing, 
the USBs are well aligned, the HDMI port is well aligned, the power cables, and also the power input. And yeah, so this version here, we were able to add the the cooling area whereby uh, for this case it has a fan and these are the vents of course where the fresh air passes then it exits from the sides so all this was put into consideration before making this latest version and yeah we, we are really proud of it This right here in my hands, like I have earlier said, is the Microfuse Stick computer. It is compatible with all TVs and desktop monitors as well as projectors. I know you might be questioning. All TVs? Yes, I mean all TVs, even those old versions. You get this beautiful box. Beautiful designed. Beautifully designed. Mm -hmm. Made by Ugandans for Ugandans. Mm -hmm. And in the box, you have the stick computer, you see the microfuse logo, you have yeah. the adapter, mm -hmm. and this is the air casa. It's very portable, put it in your pocket, put it in your bag, carry it with you anywhere you want to go. You have a presentation very quickly, just connect it. Yes, so. So you're gonna connect it for us? Yes. Please. As you can see, this is the exact desktop view you'd have on a normal on computer, a computer yes. but you could connect this to your television in case uh, we had a pandemic where people used to use zoom and stuff so if you had a presentation you could just connect it to your tv oh, wow. or you use your laptop for something else oh wow yes it comes with wired excel office everything you'd have on your just computer. like a normal pc just like a normal pc and you could also download more things you can open terminals you can code anything you want to do are you able to open a terminal or something? Yeah. Actually, I'm seeing this exactly does the same command prompt. You have the same command prompt here. And when you run the code like we've just run, it makes it just like the normal computer. Just like a normal computer. Cindy, does that mean that actually people who can't afford the luxurious and hefty, you know, prices of PCs, they can opt for this? Yes. It is a computer indeed, and I've seen the sticks are looking amazing. What is the capacity like? I know you have an old version and the new version. Can you take us through? Uh, the older version has a 4 GB RAM and a 16 GB storage, but it was expandable. And the newer version... Which is this particular one. Which is this one, yes. upgraded with an 8 GB RAM and a 32 GB storage. But mm -hmm. as you see, it has HDMI, so you can connect a flash, you can connect a hard disk. It also has a slot for a SD card, memory mm -hmm. card. Mm -hmm. Yes, so the storage is not a problem. Yes, so this can fit in your pocket, in your bag, you can take it anywhere you want to go, you can connect to your television, mm -hmm. and anything you can download on Microsoft, you can download onto the Really? Stick. And it carries everything. Like, for example, if you make a document on this television mm -hmm. and you carry a stick and you connect it to your desktop, your document will go with you. You've had it from Microfuse. So, for parents, schools, and enterprise, this Microfuse stick computer is made for you to make life better, easy, but also very affordable. I think we have no excuse for not leveraging on such an innovation made in Uganda by Ugandans. For all the innovators out there, this Technation is a show for you. We will find you, but you can also easily find us at technation underscore UG. From me and my team, indeed, it's a wrap and it's a good night. Ciao.